Look at this place. It's the Badlands, man. And this is the actual skull. Oh, wait, don't forget your passport. Those are called the twin sisters. Ah, oh, they look like hoodoos. Oh, look at this one. Hey, Kev. Dendrites and your agate. This tastes like more. We got this whole kingdom in front of us. This is how you Montana. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this week we're exploring the eastern part of the Big Sky Country in a small town they call Glendive. This state's got it all. They've got Glacier Bay, Yellowstone, gold panning, but you brought us to a completely different planet. Look at this. <laughs> we're headed to Montana's largest state park and they call it Makoshika. Makoshika means bad earth in really? Lakota. Yep. I mean, just look around. It's the Badlands, man. I've got so much planned for us this week. We've got dinosaurs, we got stargazing, and we got a big tasty bite on the burger trail. I'm in. You know I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> to get here to Makoshika, you head north on Route 7, you pass by Medicine Rock State Park, you get to I-94, you head west, right into Glendive. Oh, I can see the campground up here. So we're camping right in the middle of this. Dude. Boondocking with no electric. This is going to be wild. Once we get here to the campground, Kevin always gets me parked in the perfect spot, but I couldn't wait to set up camp. It is boondocking, which means we're not going to have any power. There's one water source, but for the most part, you are self-sufficient. We needed to run our generator. We had enough gas. We had enough water. We had a propane to heat our water for showers. So we were prepared for our first boondock camping. I was very excited about sleeping with the windows open. You really are in the middle of the Badlands here in Montana. So that's why we stopped at Camper's Inn. Yeah, I got a new toy for us. This is the Samlex portable solar panel charging kit. That will keep our batteries topped off enough so that we can get started. Yep. You know, make sure that you're charged. It's really easy. Yeah. We're gonna actually have to spin it 180. So go ahead and pull it out like this. All right, sun's over there. Just like that. Let's plug that in right here and we're charging. Now the sun does our work. It's gonna keep our batteries topped off. We're good to go. Nice. We get set up and we head to see the sunset. <gasps> Kevin. It gets better and better. What? This is wow. amazing. Oh, look at this. Those are called the twin sisters. Ah, they look like hoodoos. Yeah, hoodoos, toadstools, I'm not sure what you call them, but they are cool. I'm just glad we're walking. That's why I love these days with you. The drive days are a little bit long, but coming here and seeing sunsets like this. If you've driven seven or eight hours. Walk it off. Yep, walk <laughs> it off. But right now it's about this sunset and the twin sisters here, and it's just, Absolutely beautiful. The stars I used to dream were hanging over me, but just out of reach, they were not mine. Cause it all breaks down. So, are we gonna get to hike down there this week? Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna go talk to Superintendent Riley and he's gonna give us the history of this land because you know we gotta respect Talk to this. the experts. Yes, absolutely. And then after that, we're gonna do a hike and I don't know what it's gonna be yet. We're gonna to talk to Riley and we're gonna decide which way to go. Nice. But I can tell you that we will go down into this Badlands. You know, and, and the Lakota called this Bad Earth or the Badlands and I can see why, but it is beautiful. and to look up close to the different things that Mother Nature is doing to this rock is incredible.
day two arrived and we had history on the docket today and I couldn't wait to get to the visitor center to meet Riley and learn about this really cool state park. You know me, I'm a big dinosaur fan, so this is gonna be very interesting. And we are on the dinosaur trail. Yes, we are. I wonder if these grasshoppers are descendants of dinosaurs. <laughs> Welcome to Koshika. Thanks for having us, we are excited. Ready to step back into time. Perfect place to be. Let's go. Let's do it. Awesome. Makoshka State Park is Montana's largest state park, uh, just shy of 12,000 acres, so a lot of land to cover and it's kind of very unique compared to uh, the rest of Montana. This is the first room of the visitor center here, so it kind of talks about the shallow sea and the early history of Makoshka. So we have ammonites, uh, fossils, we have the mosasaur dinosaur right above us, and then we also have a replica of the stratigraphy in Makoshka. This is Makoshka. We were just there last at night. Twin Sisters last yeah. night for sunset. And, and so that's the KT line. Tell me about that. The black line there shows the KPG boundary line, which is the mass extinction event for the dinosaurs. We're still working on excavation, digging up dinosaurs in the park. So maybe there's more out there we just haven't found yet. This is our dinosaur room with our uh, nice triceratops here, the main focus of this room. Yeah. So it was found here in the park in the mid 90s. And this is the actual skull. Yep, this is the actual skull from the dinosaur. Wow, how impressive. And then the T-Rex skull that was found nearby or a little bit further north, yep, you said? Just a little farther north up at Fort Peck Reservoir. Um, just a replica here just because of the uniqueness of it, um, since we were able to identify the gender of that uh, T-Rex. Not very often you can do that, but luckily this one was either about to lay eggs or just laid eggs. And then some of that uh, tissue um, has some hormones in it so we can identify that uh, female. Wow. Oh wait, don't forget your passport. So visiting Makoshka, we have this dinosaur passport throughout Montana. So every stop you make, you get a little stamp inside. And at the very end of it, you get 14 uh, stamps throughout Montana. You get a prize. What's That's the prize? The t-shirt. Like a t-shirt. So we headed back to the adventure to grab our hiking boots and our sticks and headed up to the Cap Rock Trail. And Riley had said it was the most popular hike in the park, and he was not kidding. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, wow. It's a whole different landscape almost over here. I feel there's more greenery down here. The other side is just very deserty. This is a little more deserty to me because look at all of the erosion. It looks like a sand castle yeah. that just keeps going down. I love it. Are we going in? Yeah, let's roll. Okay. All right, a little bit of sketchy spot here, so let's be careful and focus. Okay. As Ranger Dave would say. <laughs> We got our sticks for this reason. Yep. Oh. I landed it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what millionth year we're in here. Yeah, no doubt. You know, the different colors, the coal seams. God, now look, now we're down inside. Look at that rock over there. Looks like it just broke off. It looks like a Thanksgiving ham. I'm glad we do have our six when you put them on the outside fall. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have them in this down slope hand. Look at this, Patrice. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we thought last night was pretty. I mean, it was, but. <sighs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh, this is breathtaking. This one is special. I mean, he got this whole kingdom in front of us, all to ourselves. This is awesome. Listen. That's what it's all about, solitude. You know, you got the whole riverbed and mm -hmm. just all the habitat that it's created is very cool. This was, I assume, one mountain one, at one yeah, point, and so yeah. this is all that's remaining. That was millions of years of erosion. This is beautiful. I didn't even know what to expect, and it's only day two, and I'm blown away. The Badlands of Montana. I love it. This is how you Montana. So what do you got going on today? 
They've got a Southeast Montana Burger Trail and there's a stop in Weibo. You wanna go? You don't have to ask me twice. Let me grab my purse. I'm hungry. You know me. And I was excited for day three because that meant we were going in search of some local food. So we jumped in the toad and headed east about 30 minutes to Weibo, Montana, to Vaccaro's restaurant, home to the Longhorns. And a stop on the burger trail. Yeah, this is it right here, Vaqueros. We're gonna have try some burgers right here. I'm hungry. Vaqueros in Spanish is a word for cowboys, which is what the area is filled with. It's cowboy country. My family in Mexico has owned a restaurant for 30 years, so I grew up in a kitchen. Oh my gosh, you weren't kidding. Oh, you got the whole family. You this is fantastic, you guys. Thank you. We are a Mexican restaurant, but we have to cater to the people around us, so we sell burgers. And we were pretty surprised when they called us and said, hey, we want you to be part of the burger trail. So we said, all right, we'll give it a go. Okay, so you need to show me how I'm gonna <laughs> take a bite of that. I guess we're just gonna go and we call it a no judgment zone, so you just grab it and go. No yeah. judgment zone, I don't, like that. Don't judge me. Here we go. Ooh. It's delicious, and I can understand why the Weibo Burger is number one on the burger trail. Gotcha, so it's just a good combination of flavors of yeah. everything, right? You got onions, peppers, and you got the guacamole. Guacamole. I really like that little piece. And I love the toasted bun, I can taste that. This tastes like more. <laughs> it turned out we ended up being number one on the trail, and we were pretty excited for that. It was a big surprise. One of the local farmers was like, you know what would be cool? We brand our cattle. Why don't you brand your burgers? One of our local welders said, here you go, and it stuck. I love that you're serving local brew, and they're right across the street. Right across the street from us. Cheers to a well-done burger. And vaqueros. And vaqueros. Thank you. Now the question is, are you guys leaving space for dessert? Oh, God, you're killing me. <laughs> Every business in town attracts their own pool of people, and we kind of all come together, like we support each other here. You know, we have to work together to make this town still thrive. Man, that was good. Yeah, that's cool. I'm full. We need to go Ooh. hike it off. <laughs> So Riley, you brought us up here to the top of the park. What do you call this? Uh, this is Eiffel Vista. Eiffel Vista, and so we're gonna be stargazing tonight. So is this something you do here at the park often? So we try to do a couple of programs every summer to get people out here enjoying the dark sky that Makoshka has offered. We are a dark sky area, but not a sanctuary. Uh, so if you're really into night sky viewing, Mason Rock State Park in Southeast Montana is very, very cool for that. Oh, excellent. And there's not a cloud in the sky tonight. Perfect night for night sky viewing. I'm going in. Oh. Gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks like some sort of constellation. I can bring out my app and I can tell you what oh I'm looking at. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Right up there is probably Aries, Andromeda. Roughly where I set it up towards. Yeah. So. Oh. Pisces, Pegasus, it's Man. all up there. I can see how people will fall in love with this though. This is gorgeous. You need to come look at this right, now. Let me do it. It's your turn. Look at this thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is very cool. Oh, check that out, Patrice. Look at that. It looks like Santa's sleigh. That's Starlink satellites going across the sky. So cool. You've got us set up on another telescope. Kevin, you've got the app telling yeah. us what we're looking All right, let's at. Let's go take a look. Go ahead, look through there. Okay. All right, so you're going to be looking at Aquarius, which is, we're both Aquarians. Oh. It's the constellation Aquarius. That is cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a constellation oh. of stars. This is incredible. I've never done anything like this. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Yep. Night sky viewing and big sky country. All right, baby, ready? I'm gonna go grab the fishing pole. I'm right behind you. So we woke up on day four and I had something really special planned. We had never done this. We were going 
agate hunting. I had to look up the word when I found out that's what we were doing, and actually I was very excited. Today we're going to get to see the Yellowstone River here in Glendive. Oh. This is the Black Bridge fishing access, so I went ahead and brought my fishing rod. You know, we've been fishing all over this country lately. I never leave home without it. I've been fishing my whole life, so I get the chance to fish in Montana. I love it, and we are meeting Don today. Yeah, Riley told us about Don, and Don is an agate hunter. He finds these rocks and he polishes them into jewelry. How cool, maybe I could find me a new ring or something. Absolutely. Nice. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're hunting agates. <laughs> Yeah. There he is. Hey. Hi, Don. Patrice. Don. I'm Kevin. This Don. place is beautiful, man. It is. Are you guys ready to go find some agates? I'm ready. Let's yes. go. All right, let's go. We're down here looking for Montana agates on the Yellowstone River. It's one of the, the stretch from Miles City to the North Dakota border up past Sydney. It's about the best place you can find them. There we go. Oh, look at this look one. At hey, Kev. Your, your dendrites and your agate, your nice iron coloring. An agate was formed when there is a lot of volcanic activity. It's a quartz silica microcrystal that hardened and formed with iron in it. That's how we get our reds and our dendritic trees is from that iron solidifying inside of there when it's formed. Very nice, I love how it illuminates. Yeah, I can see that potato skin you've been talking about on that one. That, now I really see that. Very nice. nice color. That's a nice piece. And you can't wait to get home when you find no, ones like this. That, that'll get cut right away. <laughs> right away. You want to see what's inside? Yep, you got to see the whole picture. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh, these are so beautiful. All right, I'm going to just see if this is one. Nope, that's a lever right. Leave it right there. Oh my gosh. Ah. Don, this one's got some glass in it, I think. Some little right here. I see yep, some. Yep, there you go. That's what you're looking for. You hold it up. You can see some of the right here and right here. Yep, you got your nice dark color and your light in there to give your contrast. That's a lot of iron, right? Yep, yeah, right your dark is. iron in there. Did I find There that? you go, that's oh, a potato. Look at that. Look at this one, is There perfect. you can really see the skin, that potato skin on it. That's God. a good Hold potato. Hold that up, let me see that. Oh, look at how it, it's see-through. Because this doesn't look like it has a bunch of iron in it. No, nope, but you can see your little spots, like you have your light browns. Yeah. Right through there, you'll have spots of light brown. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. All right, I got to find more. Well, how about we take all these and come back to my shop if you want to, and we can show you some finished products that we make and show you some equipment we use. And I would love look that. Look at the whole process. I love it. Let's love go. That. Yeah. All righty. We do jewelry and wire wrapping on our caps and everything. I really enjoy making face polish specimens to just capture the beauty of the rock. You gotta use diamonds or silicone carbide because the agates are so hard. It's not just rock picking down on the river. A lot of people find it real therapeutic just out enjoying the scenery and you never know what you're gonna find. It was a lot of fun agate hunting with Don today, wasn't it? More fun than I thought, and you even got some jewelry. I know, it's beautiful. <laughs> what was your favorite part about this trip? For me, Makoshika State Park, camping inside the park there. We were boondocking our first time, surrounded by the badlands of eastern Montana. And then that sunset hike on day one to see the twin sisters. Mm. But we even outdid it the second day with the Cap Rock Trail. On I, that I just, natural bridge. To oh. me, Makoshika was the highlight for me. What about you? I loved Makoshika, all of it. Wildly beautiful. Going into Weibo, though, to Vaqueros, that whole family coming out with all the food. I think I'm still full. <laughs> but I'm going to say stargazing with Riley. Really? Yes. I've never seen so many stars. We saw the Milky Way. It was cool. The Which satellites, is, the shooting stars. It was magical. It was. I agree. I loved this trip. You still owe me 60 bucks, by the way. Oh. Cough it up. <laughs>